सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो एज एव टोल्ड एट इन द लास्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू डाइवर्जेंस थियरम ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम इयर सो नाउ लेट स्ट्रेट गो टू द प्रॉब्लम सो द क्वेश्चन इज इवेल्युएट बोर्ड साइड ऑफ डाइवर्जेंस थियरम फॉर द फील्ड डी इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स वाई ए एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर ए वाई कुलम्स पर मीटर स्क्वेयर एंड द रेक्टेंगुलर सर्फेस फॉर्म बाई द प्लेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी हैव टू वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स वाई जेड दैट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वन जीरो एंड टू एंड जीरो एंड थ्री रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके या सो हियर वी नीड टू बी कंसिडरिंग द इक्वेशन फॉर डाइवर्जेंस थियरम सो द इक्वेशन ऑफ डाइवर्जेंस थियरम वी टू कंसिडरिंग दैट इज वी नो दैट From divergence theorem, we have surface integral of d dot d s is equal to volume integral of del dot d d v. Okay. So now we need to be using this uh, equation, and we need to be evaluating both sides of divergence theorem. That is, we need to solve separately for L H S as well as R H S. Okay. So that these two L H S uh, with the condition that L H S should be equal to R H S. Only the, then only we can satisfy this condition for divergence theorem, right? So we need to be solving twice for LHS and RHS, and we need to be make sure we need to be making sure that both the answer we are getting it as same. Okay? So now first let's consider RHS. Okay? The RHS is volume integral of del dot d dv, right? So now we know that in this question they have clearly mentioned the word rectangular surface, so we need to be using del dot first we need to be finding del dot d here after that we need to be uh, uh, whatever answer we get we need to be uh, uh, taking its volume integral so in rectangular coordinate system we need to be solving for del dot d so the, we have the formula that is do by do x of dx plus do by do y of dy plus do by do z of dz right so in this we need to be substituting the value of dx dy and dz so here they have given only the values for dx and dy so if there is no mentioned uh, uh, dz uh, component so that's why it is zero so uh, now let's uh, quickly solve it that is do by do x of 2xy plus do by do y of x square plus uh, do by do z of dz is zero so this is zero so del dot d is equal to so differentiate with respect to x so 2y is constant and differentiation of x is 1 plus uh, do by do y of x square there is no y term so this is 0 so our final del dot d which we are getting here is 2y okay so now this del dot d we need to be substituting in the main equation so let's take this as equation 1 okay so now equation 1 would be volume integral of So they have clearly mentioned the uh, limits of x, y, z here: zero, one, zero, two, and zero, three. So same way, zero, one, zero, two, and zero, three. The limits for x, y, and z, and the uh, del dot d, which we have got, is two y, and d v for rectangular coordinate system, it is d x, d y, d z. Okay. So now this is simple integration. Now we need to be solving. Take two common outside, and zero to one, d x. 0 to 2 y dy 0 to 3 dz okay 2 into a differentiation of d uh, integration of dx is x with the limit 0 to 1 and differentiation of uh, integration of y dy is y square by 2 from 0 to 2 and uh, integration of dz is z from 0 to 3 substitute the limits that is 1 minus 0 and uh, 2 square by 2, so that is 4 by 2 minus 0 into 3 minus 0. So we are getting 2 into 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 1 zero 2 2 zero 2 minus 0 is 2 and 3 minus 0 is 3. So the final answer we are getting here is uh, 2 3 zero 6 and 6 2 zero 12. 12 coulomb we are getting. Okay. So this is for the uh, right hand side. Okay. R H S. Okay, so similarly now we need to take uh, the value of LHS and solve for the in solve in such a way that we need to be getting the answer as 12 coulomb. Okay, yeah. So now let's solve it. Okay, so now before solving for LHS, we need to be knowing some of the conditions here. That is, so when solving for us LHS, that is the uh, surface integral of d dot ds, right? 
so we know that whenever we are evaluating surface integral we know that this d component is parallel to the surfaces because in clearly they have mentioned that it is a rectangular surface so a general rectangle has four sides in which opposite sides are parallel to each other right in a rectangular surface so that's why evaluating surface integral we know that d is parallel to the surfaces that is in for in which direction it is parallel consider z direction in z direction they are parallel to the surfaces so that's why we can say that uh, d dot ds is equal to 0 only at z surfaces okay top and bottom okay yeah so now considering this condition in mind we are going to solve it continue let's continue okay so for so for the remaining four surfaces while solving again uh, we can say that dx uh, at x is equal to 0 because we have the values for x as 0 and 3 right 0 and 1 right so that's why if when you take x is equal to 0 in place of dx what we will be getting uh, the value of dx is 0 so the general value of dx is 2xy right at x is equal to 0 2 into 0 into y that is uh, 0 only zero only that is so that's why also at dy at y equal to zero is equal to dy at y is equal to z okay yeah so while taking this condition so therefore the final d dot ds which we are getting is limit from zero to three that is from for z and also limit from zero to two that is for y okay since we have only two surfaces right now that is dy and dz because the dx term at x is equal to zero is zero so we need to be taking 2y the value of uh, d which we have calculated 2y into ds that is ds is equal to dy and dz because in this case we are taking only two surfaces so now solve this 2 into 0 to 3 uh, integration of dz and 0 to 2 integration of y dy okay that is 2 into integration of dz is z from 0 to 3 and integration of y dy is y square by 2 from the limits 0 to 2 so 2 is equal to upper limit minus lower limit 3 minus 0 and uh, 2 square by 2 minus 0 ok so 1 2 would get cancelled so the answer is 2 is into 3 into 2 right so 3 to the 6 and 6 to the 12 so here again we are getting uh, RHS is equal to 12 coulombs, right? So therefore we can say that LHS is equal to RHS Therefore uh, we can say that divergence theorem is Satisfied, okay, we have all we have evaluated both sides of uh, Divergence theorem these kind of problems would they would be asking okay in the exam of evaluating both sides of any theorem or any a derivation okay so for that case we need to be solving for both lhs as well as rhs so yeah so this is one reference problem you can note it down okay if you did not understand anything you can comment down and we will try to clear your opinions so one more problem we have similar kind so now let's solve that problem as well so this is the next question so this is your next question with a similar kind that is the question is if d is equal to phi r by 4 ar vector coulombs per meter square then we need to evaluate both sides of divergence theorem for volume enclosed by r is equal to 4 meter and theta is equal to pi by 4 radians okay so again we need to be considering the divergence theorem equation we know that uh, surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d into dv right so now let's consider first the lhs and solve okay last problem we have considered rhs right so now for a change let's solve first the lhs that is surface integral of d dot ds okay that is equal to so here they have given the range of theta that is pi by 4 right so we can take the limits so as 0 to pi by 4 and phi we can take the limits as from uh, 0 to 2 pi okay generally for phi according to Gauss law we have uh, uh, told you why that is the case why we are taking the phi limits from 0 to 2 pi okay so here the value of d they have given it substitute that phi r by 4 uh, sorry this is phi r square by 4 okay so make that correction phi r square by 4 
AR vector dot ds okay uh, ds is equal to in case of uh, uh, this here they have given the value of theta and r right so this is in spherical coordinate system okay yeah so therefore ds for spherical coordinate system the value is AR vector into r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so please remember this for a uh, different different coordinate system the value of ds and dv will uh, have a change okay that i would be making a separate video and telling you about what are the values so for this problem you note this ds value so in place of ds put this term that is ar vector r square sin theta d theta d phi so here we can see that ar vector dot ar vector any two dot product of the same vector would be equal to one its magnitude would be equal to one so this ar dot ar would be equal to one okay so i'll write it here AR dot AR is equal to 1. So now after simplification what we will be getting? 0 to pi by 4. 0 to 2 pi. So take this for uh, 5 R square by 4 into R square. Sin theta D theta D phi. Okay. So since uh, there is no R term, D R term. So take this uh, 5 R, R square into R square is R to the power 4. So 5 R to the power 4 by 4 you can take it outside that is 5 R to the power 4 by 4 into 0 to pi by 4 0 to 2 pi sin theta d theta d phi okay so now you can solve it so that is 5 R to the power 4 by 4 into integration of sin theta is minus cos theta with the limits of 0 to pi by 4 and uh, the integration of d phi is phi with the limits of 0 to 2 pi right so now that is phi r to the power 4 by 4 into uh, substitute the limits that is minus cos pi by 4 minus of minus cos that is plus cos 0 into 2 pi minus 0 is 2 pi upper limit minus lower limit so phi r to the power 4 by 4 into cos pi by 4 is 1 okay so that would be uh, sorry cos pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 plus cos 0 is 1 yeah cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 into 2 pi so this would be so if we solve for this minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 in the calculator after simplification what we will be getting is 5 r to the power 4 into 0 0.293 okay after while while you solve this you can take the calculator you can uh, solve it if i take if i take the calculator now and try try to solve it could be taking time for me so that's why i have written directly the answer you can verify if you want later so now the value of r they have mentioned in the question right they have given the value of r as 4 meter so now finally you can substitute the value of r you can substitute at the first only because uh, if you substitute the value of r at the first, it would be, be again complicated. We know we need to take all the terms in the calculator and try solving it. So bring this till the last step and substitute the value of r that is 5 into 4 to the power 4 by 4 into 0.293 into 2 into 3.14 that is 6.28. The value of pi is 3.14, right? So again, after solving this, this one 4 and this would be 4 cube. So after solving this, our final answer we are be, we are getting is 589.1 coulomb. Okay, so this is for LHS. The answer is 589.1 coulomb. That is surface integral of d dot ds. We are getting the answer as 589.1 coulomb. So for RHS also we need to be solving and uh, also for RHS the del dot d we need to be considering it as from the spherical coordinate system. Uh, apply the formula and solve it and we will be getting the answer as 589.1 if we get the answer we can say that the condition is satisfied so yeah let's solve it so yeah now let's solve for rhs the rhs term is volume integral of del dot d dv so first let's separately solve for del dot d in spherical coordinate system since in the question they are given the value for r and theta so whenever you have r and theta uh, together we can say that those two are in spherical coordinate system so yeah let's uh, solve this so del dot d is equal to 1 by r square 
dou by dou r of r square into the value of dr so since we have in the question they have given only a dr term and d theta and d phi they are not given so we can consider them as zero so these two terms would be one and these two would be zero only this term would be left here that is dr term that is 5r square by 4 right so again uh, del dot d into 1 by r square of we can take this 5 by 4 common outside and this 2 by dou r it is 2 by dou r of r square into r square that is r to the power 4 so this would be del dot d is equal to 5 by 4 r square into uh, dou by dou r of r to the power 4 that is 4 r cube so this here uh, uh, r square r square would be get cancelled would be remaining only with r so del dot d is equal to and also this 4 and 4 would be getting cancelled del dot d is equal to 5 r okay yeah so this is the value of del dot d phi r so now in the place of, uh, of uh, del dot d here we need to be putting the value of phi r and solving it that is so volume integral of del dot d dv okay so where the value of dv here is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi okay i told right we have the different set of values for ds and dv in place of in case of all three spherical coordinate system so this is the value of dv in case of spherical coordinate system while doing the integration that is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi in place of dv you need to be putting this term and solving okay that is we have volume integral so we have three integrals that is for r r range they have given in the question that is from 0 to 4 theta is from 0 to pi by 4 and phi is from 0 to 2 pi okay and del dot d our value is 5 r and in place of dv you are putting r square sin theta dr d theta d phi okay yeah so now take this phi common outside and uh, separately integrate for what 0 to 4 that is for r that is r into r square right r into r square is r cube dr and 0 to pi by 4 sin theta d theta 0 to 2 pi d phi okay 5 into r cube integration of r cube is r to the power 4 by 4 and the limits are from 0 to 4 and uh, integration of sin theta is minus cos theta limit 0 to pi by 4 integration of d phi is 5 from limit 0 to 2 pi so phi is equal to 4 to the power 4 by 4 minus 0 into minus cos pi by 4 minus into minus plus cos 0 and 2 pi minus 0 right 5 into 4 to the power 4 is 64 so we can cancel one this will be 4 cube 4 cube is uh, 64 okay into uh, cos 0 is 1 minus cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 into 2 pi okay 5 into 64 into 1 minus 1 by root 2 I have solved it uh, uh, and kept it and uh, if you solve it simplification we will be getting 0.293 previously also I have solved it same thing 0.293 we are getting it into 2 into 3.14 okay so again if we solve this again the same answer we are, we are getting that is 589.1 cool okay if you want you can check it in the calculator solve this and we, are, we are getting we would be getting the same answer okay 589.1 cool so therefore we can say that LHS is equal to RHS divergence theorem is proved so that's all for this session hope you like this session so please refer the video very carefully so this kind of problems are very very important and uh, multiple times repeated in the exam so that's all for this session thank you